You know, one of the rooms we spend a lot of time in when we're at home is the kitchen. And for decades, it's stayed pretty much the same. But all of that is about to change. We're gonna give you a glimpse at what a kitchen of the future might look like. I'm here with Lamont. He's gonna give us the lowdown on this gorgeous machine, the Samsung Family Hub. What can you tell me about this refrigerator? Well, there's a lot of things I can tell you. To start off, the Samsung Family Hub is basically a 21 and a half inch Wi-Fi screen. Uh, literally, you can actually interact with it. And we broke it down in three different categories. You got family connections, you have food management, and entertainment. The whole story behind Family Hub is pretty simple. Years ago, people used to use the refrigerator as like the central point of communication in the home. But as people shifted towards French store refrigerators, a lot of new French store models, you can't put magnets on the front, so you can't save notes, memos, or all the little stuff you need to do. Now, what Family Hub is gonna bring you all back and make it the central point of your family once again. Now, to go into family connections, for example, you can take multiple calendars and sync them all into one. So no longer have to check, you know, different calendars, Outlook, Google, you can check everybody's calendar all in one place. That's one big benefit. Another one, let's say, let's go on a trip to Disney World. We wanna show all those great photos. Well, where do you save them? You can now upload photos from your smartphone, tablet, or computer. You can also do it through a USB port and now save those photos all on your main screen of the Family Hub. But going to food management, because what's the purpose of the refrigerator? To manage your food. So now it's a couple of features when the fall call out. For one, it's going to have an app called um, Food Reminder. You can actually go on there and actually take live photos of your actual food in your fridge. It's three cameras built inside. Every time you shut the door, it will take a photo inside the fridge itself. And in here, just to show you, the three cameras will be located right here along the sill. Another cool feature, you can order online groceries. So if it's a cold winter day in, let's say, in Michigan, and you don't want to leave your home because you know you're stuck in, you can now order groceries online through our MasterCard, also Yumly. And we partner with several retailers, our grocery retailers, where you can do that. And then last but not least, you got the entertainment side. So now you can stream Pandora Radio. You can also do um, tune-in radio, live music, and you can even mirror it with your Samsung Smart TV. All that and more in your Samsung Family Hub. Basically, it's a meaningful innovation. It helps you make everyday, you know, situations in your life easier all through the Family Hub. Lamont, thank you so oh, much, thank man. You so much. Really Pleasure appreciate it. Now, I'm here at Whirlpool with my new friend Richard, and Richard's gonna walk me through what a typical morning would be like in a smart kitchen, a connected kitchen, and how that could really help us in our day-to-day -day activities. So, so Richard, morning has has sprung yeah walk me through what it would be like to to work in this space so imagine i'm dad yeah. and i'm staying home and i've got to get the family out of the door the morning's probably one of the busiest times of the day so this is where the interactive kitchen of the future can kind of help us along and get uh, uh, manage the household getting ready for the day so as i walk across to the uh cooktop i can set my coffee down and the uh, intelligent cooktop will recognize that it's my coffee cup and it will keep it warm to my desired temperature. Um, I can see my schedule for the day and I can see the baby in the monitor. So uh, everything that I need right now that's relevant to me uh, is presented to me. It looks like the baby's stirring. We are at CES, so it does get a little noisy, so I better get a bottle to uh, um, feed the baby. It shows that the uh, last bottle was two hours and 15 minutes ago, and sleep time was two hours, 45 minutes. Goodness. So yeah, we've got a lot of data tracking going on. We've got connective uh, technology going on. This is great. Yeah, so you know, I like with the coffee cup, I can set the bottle down on the counter, and it's gonna recognize that bottle. and. It's gonna warm it to the perfect temperature. There's no more worrying about if it's too hot or if it's not warm enough. So yeah, you can preset all of this so that the uh, the container for the, the bottle here is going to be the right temperature for baby. Exactly. If you switch it out with your coffee mug, it's gonna go back to whatever you preset for your coffee. Exactly. And it knows the difference. Yeah, the cooktop will recognize the item and it will adjust the way you place the item. It's not necessarily you having to put it where we tell you to. That's wonderful. So this is great. I love the idea of it's not just a smart kitchen, it's also helping you manage your schedule, it's helping you stay on top of things because you have all the information right in front of you. You know what time it is, you know what is coming up. If the kids need to get out the door, it's right there in front of you. Yep. There's none of that running around, what do I need to do next? E exactly. As you can see by the schedule, uh, the school bus is arriving and uh, I gotta get my daughter out the door so uh, I can put her lunchbox down on the cooktop and it's gonna tell me the ingredients of the lunchbox. 
Now, with health and nutrition being so important, it's telling me that she could really use a grain for the day. So uh, the cooktop is going to recommend that I add an oatmeal bar as a suggestion. It knows I have them on hand. So I could place that in the lunch bag and it's going to update and show that her nutrition is uh, good for the day. That's amazing. I could definitely use that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, Richard, thank you so much. I really thank appreciate you. it. This is a great vision of what the kitchen of the future will be like. I kind of I kind of need it now. <laughs> yes, yes. But hopefully in the very, very near future. Excellent. So I'm here with Ben, and Ben, you're going to tell me about the Whirlpool fridge. Now, the first thing I notice is that this is a, a smart connected fridge, but it has a different design philosophy than what we've seen with some other ones. It doesn't have the ginormous screen on the front. Can you tell me a little bit about the philosophy behind this particular design? The Whirlpool Smart Fridge really was designed to kind of uh, help you manage both the refrigerator and help kind of anticipate needs uh, before they happen. So having a screen uh, on the fridge might be useful in some instances, but let's say you're at the grocery store and you need to take some action. You've got uh, a bunch of friends coming over for a party or get together in an hour. You can remotely, uh, for instance on the app, activate party mode. And what this will do, this will automatically turn on faster ice in the fridge. Uh, when you get home, the fridge has been dropped to a lower temperature, so as I'm opening and closing the doors, it's going to keep that cool temperature in there. And that party mode will even trigger things on other appliances. For instance, the oven can go into a keep warm setting. But again, it's all about making sure that we're giving you control and access no matter where you are, whether you're standing right here or perhaps at the grocery store. That's excellent. So really, I, I love this idea that it has different settings for different situations so that you don't have to sit there and, and manually do things on your phone and say, ooh, I better knock this degree down a little bit because that door's going to open and close because we're going to have a lot of people over. I also understand that there's some interconnectivity with other services, such as the Nest thermostat. Can you tell me a little about that? Yeah, so what's really exciting about it is our, our entire kitchen suite actually integrates with the Nest thermostat. So uh, let's say, for instance, that you go into an away mode. Mode, right, and your thermostat says, okay, no one's in the house. The dishwasher can automatically turn on, right? So instead of having to uh, do the delay start, where it's like, well, four hours from now, I think I'm gonna be gone, that's when I wanna run. Now it will just run whenever you do end up leaving the home. Or if your thermostat goes to an away and you've left your oven on, it will actually notify you on your phone. It'll say, hey, just a heads up, your oven's still on. Uh, on the fridge, um, Nest Rush Hour Rewards, right, is a, uh, the ability to tether up with kind of a local utility company and understand when their peak demand periods. And so during that peak demand period, Nest can inform the fridge to take corrective action to kind of avoid running, uh, for instance, the defrost cycle, which normally would use more energy, but it can kind of wait to do that until after that peak period has ended. Would this alert me, for example, if I accidentally forgot to close a door? Yeah, so simple things like if you forget to close a door, uh, it'll let you know, give you a heads up, say, hey, by the way, I think the door might be ajar. Another really neat one is, let's say you're gone at work all day, power goes out, right? Let's say it's been out for six hours, and then turns back on just before you get home. Now, normally, you and I would have no idea that my power was out all day, and my milk was sitting there, right, the whole day. Well, now, it notifies you if that power went out. So I can get home and be like, okay, I'm gonna check this milk twice before I you know, pour myself a glass. Exactly. Yeah. All right, and I heard there's also some integration with Amazon. Can you talk yeah, about that? Yeah, so really excited. We're going to be soon integrating some of our appliances with the Amazon Dash program. And essentially what this will allow uh, us to do is things like your washer and dryer or your dishwasher, they can use cycle count information to anticipate when you're running low on things like detergent or dryer sheets. And when you're just about to run out, they'll automatically reorder more through Amazon so that it shows up just in time and you're never running out of those detergents or dryer sheets when you need them the most. So it's like the little automated dash buttons that we saw, except it's integrated directly into it's the technology. It's taking it to the next level, yeah. So instead That's of having amazing. the buttons all over your home, it's like, let's just you know, have the appliances themselves kind of anticipate those needs because they already know that. So uh, I guess you could say that the, the whole philosophy is that this is technology that makes our lives less stressful, more seamless, Absolutely. where things are taken care of for us right. so we can concentrate on other things. Exactly, our whole mentality is to kind of help families care for one another and, and kind of take some of that care off their shoulders. Uh, and by doing that through smarter automation, uh, we can really uh, help a fam family thrive, right? I mean, in, in ways that they never really could before. That's fantastic, that's a great story. Ben, thank you so much yeah, for your time. Thank I you. really appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. All right, so I'm excited to get this Kitchen of the Future as soon as possible because it's really cool to see how all this technology can communicate with one another and not only make our lives easier, but also help us be more energy conscious. It's phenomenal stuff, right? Well, to learn more about this and other topics and everything that's cool and weird and awesome in the world, you need to come to now.howstuffworks.com 
every day. That's all for now.